Good morning, my friends. I hope your day is starting off well. It is kind of early in the morning right now, so please excuse my appearance and the lighting in here. I know it's not the greatest, but I'm just starting to wake up. And I always start my day with some matcha, as you saw me making earlier there. And of course, matcha is green, and today is all about green foods. So St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner. It's in a couple of days, but I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Instead, I like to celebrate the coming of spring and all things green. So that's what today's video is going to be all about. Even though it's snowing outside here in Colorado, there are some green things popping up in my garden and I'm really excited to be able to get out in the garden and start growing some delicious veggies again. But like I said, today is going to be a full day of eating things green. So it's kind of a what I eat in a day, only a green version. Now not every single food that I eat is going to be green, but for the most part, if you look at my meals, they will be quite green in color. So we're just gonna have a little fun with this today. And I'm going to drink my matcha right now and wake up. And I'm gonna do some yoga and meditate and then I will make a green smoothie. So stay tuned for that and much more. Okay, for my green smoothie, I'm going to be using a mango, and I know mango is orange on the inside, but the skin of this was nice and green, so I think that counts. So I just cut that up and I'm putting it in my blender along with a few last pieces of frozen pineapple and the last of the frozen banana that I had in my freezer. I'm also adding some frozen cauliflower because it makes, makes a nice creamy and nutritious smoothie. And I'm adding some pea protein, which I don't usually use protein powder, but I did need to use this up. And then I'm also adding some spirulina powder, which is going to make this smoothie nice and green. I'm just using water for my liquid and not too much because I like my smoothies to be really nice and thick. So just blend that all up and man that spirulina powder really makes this smoothie green and it is so good for you. I love spirulina. And then I'm just adding some homemade granola to the top to give it a little crunch and this granola is really good. I'm gonna have to put up that recipe really soon. I also had some avocado toast, which I just put some chia seeds, some nutritional yeast, and a little bit of garlic salt on there, and some whole grain bread, and then my breakfast is all ready to go. It's a nice green breakfast and a great way to start the day. This is my dog, Blue, and this is one of his typical positions. <laughs> he loves getting his belly rubs. Right, Blue? For lunch, I'm going to be making a beautiful green pasta. So I'm just getting my pasta in some boiling water on the stove, and while that's cooking, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to a pan and add some asparagus. I had this asparagus in my fridge and it was about to go bad, so I wanted to use it up. And I did have to take quite a bit of the stems and even some of the tops off because they were getting yellow. But I just composted those and had enough left for me and my son to have for our lunch. So I just added some salt and pepper and garlic powder and now I'm squeezing some fresh lemon juice on there and I'm just going to let those saute for a few minutes. This is such an easy and super delicious way to cook asparagus. So in the meantime, when my pasta is cooked about halfway through, I add some fresh broccoli. And I also added some of these mukamame beans, which I guess are the same things as edamame, it's just the shelled 
version. I don't know why they decided to call it something different, but they did. So I just throw that in there and let that cook for a few more minutes until the pasta is tender and the beans have cooked all the way through. And then I'm going to add some homemade pesto. Now this one's been sitting in the refrigerator for a bit and it has solidified. It does have some olive oil in it. And if you want the recipe for this, I will leave a link for the recipe in the description box below. I have made it in several videos before, so I'll link those too. And since it did solidify a little bit, I added some pasta water to help sort of break it down and help it distribute over the pasta. And look how beautiful and green that is. This is such an easy and delicious and very green lunch. So you can see my beautiful green plate um, for lunch. This was a super easy meal to put together. Um, it's one of my favorite really quick meals and my family loves it. And so there is my delicious green lunch. I'm gonna chow down, this is so good. So I just got back from getting uh, some rolfing done, which was pretty intense. Um, if you don't know what rolfing is, it's like a really intense massage. It's kind of the best way to describe it. It's, it's a deep tissue muscle manipulation thing. It's pretty crazy and very intense. Um, there's definitely a little bit of pain involved, but it's kind of like one of those hurts so good type of situations where I know that um, even though it's hurting in the moment, it's gonna feel a lot better afterwards. Usually I feel much, much better the next day. I just have a lot of um, back pains that come and go and foot pains and knee pains and lately I've had elbow pain. I actually went to the doctor for that recently and they told me I had tennis elbow. I don't play tennis, <laughs> but um, it, it came on really suddenly a couple of months ago and it was right after I had done a video where I did a lot of chopping and that might have had something to do with it, just the movement of moving the knife and I make jewelry a lot, and in fact, I've been doing that a lot lately and selling jewelry on Etsy. And uh, now I'm doing some work for a woman who owns a local bead store and also has her own line of jewelry, so I'm helping her out with making some jewelry. And so my arm and my hands have been really sore, and so I'm hoping that this will help with that. So tonight I'm gonna to take a hot bath and hopefully tomorrow I am feeling good as new. Um, but in the meantime, it's snack time. Um, it's late afternoon. There is a snowstorm about to come in tonight so it's getting really cold outside. So I'm just gonna have a snack of um, this, of this apple and peanut butter. I'm just going to relax for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the evening. Probably just watch some Netflix and read. Um, of course, I have to make dinner later. I'm planning on making a uh, spinach pollock paneer, I think is what it's called. It's like a sog paneer, but it doesn't have the cream in it like a sog paneer does. And of course, instead of the paneer cheese, it will have tofu. And this is a dish I've been making for a really long time. It's a family favorite, as most of my recipes are. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that because we haven't had that one in a while and it's definitely very green. So the recipe I'm going to make for dinner is from this cookbook that I've had for quite a long time. It's got some great recipes in it and you can see it's been used a lot. It's got 
food and oil all over it and the, you know, the binding is coming loose. So, you know, this has got to be a good recipe. I've made it so many times, um, countless times over the years and my family really loves it. So that's what we're going to have tonight. So I'm going to start out by air frying my tofu instead of deep frying it and I'm going to press it just a little bit with my hands so I'm just wrapping it up in a clean dish towel and pressing it a little bit no need to like do any major pressing of this it's just to get a little of the moisture out and then I'm just going to cut my tofu up into cubes So once the tofu is all cubed, I'm just going to sprinkle it with some tamari and some garam masala powder. There is garam masala in the recipe and so I thought this would be a nice complimentary thing to that and it actually turned out so good that I would just do this on a regular basis with some air fried tofu. It was so good. So I just put that in my air fryer and I kind of, you know, made sure it was distributed evenly and then I cooked that for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. It comes out nice and crispy this way. Next, I'm going to grind some spinach into a paste. So I'm just filling up my food processor with lots of baby spinach and then just adding a little bit of water to help it break down. And then I'm just going to grind that until I have a nice paste. I know it doesn't look too appetizing right now, but I promise you it will be. Next, I'm cutting a really large yellow onion in half. I'm just going to use half of it. And you don't have to dice it up really finely. I'm just giving it a coarse chop and then the food processor will do the rest of the work for me. I'm also going to chop up some ginger into small pieces and I'm going to add all that to the food processor along with a can of tomatoes, a can of green chilies, some chili powder, salt, coriander powder, turmeric powder, ground cumin, then I'm just going to grind all that in the food processor until it is a nice sauce consistency. Then I'm adding some nice neutral tasting cooking oil to a pan and throwing in some cumin seeds and a generous pinch of asafetida. asafetida? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, after cooking the spices for a minute or so, I add my sauce and then give that a good stir to incorporate all the spices in there. I'm gonna let that cook down for a few minutes and then add my spinach paste. And again, I will incorporate that really well and let it cook for several more minutes before finishing it off with the tofu. And it is already looking so green and delicious. I just love this dish. So then once that has cooked for a while, I add some garam masala powder and my air fried tofu and I'm going to just stir that in and then it's ready to eat. This does have a few steps with um, making all the different pastes, but it actually does come together really quickly and it is so delicious and my family really loves this dish. It's just full of green goodness and red goodness too. And those chunks of air fried tofu with the garam masala on them were so good. You should definitely try this recipe. I will leave the recipe in the description box below or you can find it later on my blog at vegerarchy.com. I hope you liked this video and that you got some good ideas for some easy green recipes to make for you and your family. I really had fun making this video and eating green for a day and like I said I'm so excited for spring. So I hope you're all bundled up and warm with your family or enjoying some great spring weather wherever you are. 
I hope you'll give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, peace out and have a very green day. Bye!